Again, are there any names which you think are undervalued relative to their potential here? Uh, thanks for having me on. Look, I think you take a look at some of the first generation vaccines, BioNTech, Moderna, which have had 20, 25 percent pullbacks recently uh, on some of the uh, hype about what's been going on and Novavax as well, which is a huge pullback. We'll reiterate, I think the data sets coming up will be positive, and I think these stocks will move up on that. How long those stocks will stay up and whether people flock to other sectors, I think is a bigger question that we're now having these days on some of the trading of these stocks. Interesting. So you're actually telling me that you look at some of those names that others would say are more speculative plays. You know, Moderna's never developed something like this before. Novavax obviously has had its issues in BioNTech. But you think these pullbacks are a good buying opportunity? Look, I think that they've had a 20, 25 percent pullback. I think there's still some uncertainty as to whether this data set will be positive. And by the way, we think September, you're going to hear about Pfizer. I think the stocks will move back up on that. I think really the bigger question over a two, three, four month time horizon, I will be honest with you, is how sustainable those moves are, because I think a lot of people are starting to believe that they will be positive and ultimately other sectors within biotech or certainly the market. I got to tell you, uh, are going to start to rally if we do have a vaccine. Exactly. So it's almost like you'd want to buy these in anticipation of them being effective. And then at that point, just buy the cruise lines or something like that. So what about the, one of the kind of differences of opinion is whether investors should focus on these particular names like the Modernas of the world, the vaccine candidates, or if they should focus on the bigger names like Pfizer, maybe AstraZeneca, that have other levers to pull if the technology doesn't pan out, or even if it does, they're less vulnerable to kind of buy the rumor, sell the fact. What would you say about the big cap pharma names? And that's exactly what we're saying. We believe that if the vaccines are positive and we are going into 2021 in a better situation, obviously within healthcare, but more broadly the market in our country, that there's probably going to be a reversion back to focusing on fundamentals. You look at names like Amgen or Gilead or Vertex. These are names that have had okay performance year to date, but in the bigger picture have been relative laggard. So within biopharma, I think people will start to move away from some of the COVID volatility and buying this on the hopes of how much in sales there were and become more of a focus on some of the fundamental stuff, not just within biotech, but probably the broader market as well. Can I ask what you make of the, these vaccines coming from China and Russia? Uh, yeah. Any insight you might have about the development of them relative to the processes that we're pursuing here? Yeah, and I think this is really important. You look at some of the data that's come out of China and not much of all data coming out of Russia. And I think there's a difference between these countries saying that they have some sort of accelerated approval in China, giving it to the, the, the army and the defense in Russia, a little bit of the same. You know, we're giving our vaccines to 15, 20, 30,000 people in a clinical trial. They're getting it. And so I think there's a, probably just a different standard for what people are willing to accept as emergency authorization and safe enough to deploy, right, to different populations versus here in the U.S. where we're going to treat as many people as possible, confirm that data, and then more comfortably deploy it across the country. So do you ultimately think the vaccine that we come up with will be the global standard? I do believe that the technology out of Moderna, BioNTech, AstraZeneca, and J&J, &J, and Merck following up behind that, some of the comments out of Merck on the last earnings call, I feel very confident, as certainly as, as does Fauci and some of these other experts, that we will have a vaccine and it's going to have some of the most robust data versus some of the other technologies in other countries.